my grandparents' parents gave him. Okay, okay. And, and the Canadians had a, a pub or a tavern on Hammond Street that moved to Spring Street. It was called Canini Saloon. Um, and when he passed away, um, I think his name was Patrick, um, they turned it into a candy store. And the building is still there on Spring Street. He had two brothers, James and Harry. And Harry Canini, um, uh, I have just a picture of him in the office. Um, but he, there's the park down here um, by Norman Street is Harry and Eileen Canini Memorial Park. So they lived in that section. He was a, a mailman, like my father. Um, Must but, have been big in the community to get a park after it. Was, yeah, yeah, it was just very loud. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew Harry, you can ask anybody. Harry. Oh, I know Harry Canadian. So, Harry had uh, three boys, Harry, Billy, Harry, Peter, and Billy. And Billy owns Shamrock Farm up in Portsmouth. So he's the only one that's here. He used to own the IA. Um, he was, I think, the founding um, of Shamrock Electric. My other uncle was James, and he died young, but um, he had two daughters. Um, one lives in Middletown, uh, married to Topa, and the other one um, has passed away. Mm -hmm. We have many uh, policemen in there, uh, both sides of the family, and I actually almost think that my, both my parents' families knew each other because they both had policemen. Um, my grandfather and my mother's uncle were both policemen, so they, the families knew each other through that. And my grandfather was saying, um, Tom Canini was a policeman on Bellevue Avenue, and they, he, he, they called him the whistling cop. He didn't use a whistle, but he directed all the traffic before he had Memorial Boulevard. Mm. Um, and he would, um, you know, let all the ladies pass, and I mean, he was very... Um, you know, I guess very nice to all the ladies I uh, hear. And he also was good to the children at St. Mary's School. He, was the, he helped, he would go to St. Mary's when the kids were getting out of school as a policeman and make sure all the kids got across the street um, properly and uh, safely. So, and then when he retired, he was um, the first policeman at the Preservation Society at the Breakers and the security. And I remember going down to visit him. Yeah, so that had to have been you know, whenever the Preservation Society got the, the, the breakers.